Good morning everybody, uh, Bridget here. Today another very easy recipe. Uh, today I thought I'd show you how to make a very simple uh, fish bake uh, or a fish mone because it's uh, uh, made in white sauce and uh, with cheese. It's extremely easy to prepare and uh, I'm sure you'll all enjoy making it. So even if you don't have an oven, you could always do it in your uh, microwave. So keep watching and I'll take you through the ingredients. So first of all, you would need 500 grams of boneless fish. You could use any fish you like. I And I bought the boneless fillets uh, of white fish, which is basa available in India and then I cut them into bite size pieces. So 500 grams of uh, boneless fish. Then you would need 2 tablespoons of butter. Quarter cup of plain flour. cups of milk and one to one and a half cups of uh, grated cheese. I bought the ready-made grated mozzarella cheese which is easier for me to uh, uh, to do my recipe. So you could buy the block of cheese and grate it or you could just buy the grated cheese and then salt pepper and any other seasoning that you like. So I have some dried mint. I'm going to use this. Um, it's a very simple, light and comforting uh, bake. So keep watching and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Let's, I'll show you the how to uh, start making your fish bake. So first of all, uh, we we'll season your, the fish with a pinch of salt and some pepper. So just lightly season it with salt and pepper. You need not to add too much. Just a pinch. Okay. And we'll mix it. We're just going to lightly mix this salt and pepper to the fish. Okay, now we'll start making our white sauce. Into this saucepan, I'm going to add, that's heating up, two tablespoons of butter. Now that the butter is melting, I'm going to just add in this flour and fry for just one minute. So I've added the flour and I'm just going to fry it for a minute. Just for a minute. Now I'm going to remove from the heat and gradually add in our milk. So you need to go on stirring. Gradually add in the milk. You stir because uh, we don't want the the flour to get um, 
there should be no lumps. So now we put it back on the heat and cook for about 5 minutes. So keep cooking and stirring so that it doesn't get, uh, doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. So we let this boil till it becomes a little thick. So constantly and you can see that the mixture is thickening. So now what we'll do is I'll just switch off the heat. And now we'll add in half the quantity of the cheese. Okay, and you stir well. Now the cheese will start melting, and you can see our white sauce is done. We could just um, season with some pepper. Just a little salt because the cheese is salty. And I'm going to add some mint flakes. Okay, you could add uh, any dried herbs that you like, uh, oregano or uh, mixed seasoning or whatever. Okay, so our white sauce is ready. This is the way we make white sauce. For any dish that needs uh, white sauce as a base. So our white sauce is ready. So now what we can do is we will grease a nice baking dish with some butter. So now what we are going to do is we are going to add this white sauce into the fish. Now we just mix this lightly with the fish. And now I am going to transfer this into a nice baking dish that we have uh, buttered so you can scrape out all the residue from the bowl so that we don't waste any of our sauce can spread it out well. Uh, you don't have to worry about the fish being raw or anything because fish cooks very fast and it will cook in the sauce and take on the flavors. And now the fun part where we uh, sprinkle uh, shredded cheese on the top. Add as much as you like. I have some more cheese. It's only once in a way that uh, we are doing this. So 
this is our uh, basic fish uh, mm, bake. I'm going to put it into the preheated oven uh, now, so keep watching. I'm going to place the, the bake into my oven. Uh, I'm sorry because I do the videos myself. You, I'm not able to show you how um, it looks in the oven. But uh, as you can see, uh, this is a preheated oven. Okay, and uh, we are going to time it for 25 minutes. And cook at 200 degrees centigrade. Top and bottom heat. So we come back after some time. So, um, bake is getting ready. Um, I'd like to tell you that um, my recipes are very simple. I don't say that they are authentic. Uh, recently, someone posted a comment saying that my recipes are only fit for patients in a hospital. And um, probably because it's not spicy. But then you've got to realize that Anglo-Indian food does not use every ingredient that is in the kitchen. Uh, uh, we are just very judicious with the use of spices and we bring out the strength of a particular meat or a particular spice or a particular condiment and we can't add uh, and make it as spicy as any other Indian dish. Then it wouldn't be Anglo Indian anymore. It's this very subtle use of ingredients and um, uh, using ingredients in moderation that makes our uh, food, our Anglo Indian cuisine, so unique. And um, please give me your comments if you need to make it spicier. Go ahead. But I'm showing you just the basic uh, recipe for all our old Anglo Indian dishes. Most of them, as you know, are not being cooked nowadays in our homes. So, keep watching. And now, our fish bake is ready. Take it out slowly. And you can see, come out really, really well. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, do like and share it. And uh, as always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.